mainstream news media has a problem. Our audience is abandoning us. And the advertisers that support our work, they're following them out the door. TV stations are closing, newspapers are shutting down, and thousands of reporters and editors that have devoted their lives to getting the facts are out of business. So how do we change that? How can we help the mainstream media get back its mojo? During my year here at Stanford, I've worked with my fellow colleagues in the Knight program, Justin Farrell, Aaron Huey, George Podesky, and just about everyone else, along with Stanford students and graduate students, to figure out what I consider to be the central problem of journalism. How do we regain our audience? How do we get back our footing? Initially, we thought the problem was money. If we could get back those advertisers, everything would be OK. But then we thought it was a question of time. There's just not enough time for everybody to, to consume all the content that we have. But then we thought about it a little bit more. And we decided that the real problem is trust. That's what journalism is all about. It's about creating voices of trust for our readers, our advertisers, for our communities, for you guys. A recent Pew poll showed the trust in the mainstream media is at an all-time low. And our research over the years, over this year, confirmed that. We talked to everybody from convicted felons to a former publisher of the Wall Street Journal. And we asked him this question. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much do you trust the mainstream media? Here's some of the responses we got. Those are not very high numbers, folks. So the question is, how do we build trust in the media? And the answer, I think, is actually pretty simple. It's transparency. We have to open ourselves to you. We have to show you how we get to a story, why we come to the conclusions that we come to. We have to bring you along for the ride. In short, we've got to open up the curtain on the news gathering process and we want to bring you on the stage. And if there's one thing you take away from today's presentations, and fellow after fellow after fellow, is that journalism can no longer be a one-way street. It's got to be a two-way conversation. What I'm proposing is a, is a transparency contract for a radically new kind of journalism, one that's more open and honest than ever before. So how do we do that? Every photo we take for a newspaper article you're going to get to see. Every note that I take, you'll get to read, whether or not I use it. Every source is going to be cataloged and shown unless we absolutely have to protect their identity. Everybody involved in the news process, whether it's a blogger from Tunisia or the publisher of the Wall Street Journal, is going to be identified and named. I don't think we have any other option. We have to be bold. We've got to take risks. If we, in this room, are going to re-engineer journalism, we have got to be the prototype for a more open, honest, and trustworthy news gathering process. We want you to trust us again. Thanks so much.